Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. This is Adana, also known as the Afrozine. Today I'm ready for the collective. What up, collective? Flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Uh, to book a private reading with me or shop in my store, all the information is in the description box below. Let's get into it. So, if you're living, I guess it don't matter if you're living in a home or an apartment complex here, but there is a handyman out here that y'all need to be very mindful of this handyman loves to peruse through the homes that they go through i i, I just I don't, mm -mm, I don't like this energy mm -mm, mm -mm, i don't like this energy we have ppg so it could be, isn't this the name of a company? It could be Gas Company, something. Um, this could be PG County or Prince George County. I know that's in Maryland. Um, somebody could be watching Peppa Pig or so on. <laughs> um, okay, let me, because mm, somebody's taking up a, a PE course or they're going to be a PE teacher. Somebody wants to be a gym teacher. Um, your physical education. All right. I was trying to space out this message here because I didn't want to know when you're the, the, the kids. Let me see if I can space it out because this message, this other message I'm receiving is a little. You need to put some pep in your step. Okay. Basically, you're allowing life to pass you by. You need to get up and you need to do something. Okay. Um. Yeah, pew. Somebody smell. I, what? Look, been that way. Smelly cum. You why you in my why you in my energy? Smelly cum. Pews. Come on. Damn, smelly cum. I thought, man. Well, now, now I can say it. Peg. That's why I was wanting to say peg. Somebody being pegged here. There's a man that love to be pegged here, but they are like a handyman. They may work in apartments. They may work work in homes or something in Asia here. And this handyman loves um to pick up new sorry i have to say it this way but that's how i'm hearing it like new victims or new bodies i don't know if y'all can hear that police siren in the background it's probably very faint but there is police sirens yes they, they work for a wage i'm hearing they got fired from this position though because it's pages and pages of complaints. So this person goes into these establishments, these, these people's home. They're being hired or maybe subcontract or contracted through these third parties or whatever the case may be here. And they are being, um, you know, going to homes and fix whatever they need to fix here but there's more than me see I with this handyman here that I don't like I don't feel comfortable or my my like I, it just it don't sit right with me here like I said we got pew right it's like they mix business for pleasure they mix business for pleasure but they also like to be pegged listen ain't no judgment here. if you like it you like it okay but listen i'm gonna say it i'm not nothing i'll be respectful i could do that but hey you like it you like it i don't care but somebody like to be pegged y'all they they like that and i know i had said before this could be a shitty big nigga and i'm sorry this is this 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 is on the line of that and here's why i say this person's a shitty big nigga because they don't wash why is pew here? You know what pew means? It means stank. Nasty. That what it mean. Yuck. Yucky. Icky. Stinky. Frothy. Hmm. Well, if you go on the let me take it off. Ew. Now we getting somewhere? So this is a dirty, this dirty dick nigga. This is a shitty dick nigga. It's why are y'all telling me this spirit oh god this person they're very fixated with 
fluids on their shaft. It's a very odd, a get off or something. Like this person loves to see their shaft glisten with something. It, it, hmm. how, do you, how do you put that word? It's like, because they think with their wand, they think with their shaft a lot and they, their, their shaft is their, their prized possession here. But they're dirty, they're nasty. They don't wash, they don't clean. But they're mixing business with pleasure. They're having sex with some of these apartments that they go into or homes that they go into here. And people are starting to complain because it's starting to become out of control here because they are doing more than they should be doing. Why are you having sex with the 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 the, uh, the tenants? What's what's up with that? Like this person has an overactive, voracious appetite for sex. Is 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 I wouldn't even say borderline. It's nympho. Like it's to the point where this person have to have sex at least five, six times. If they don't, they feel like, oh my god, like I gotta have it in that kind of way. So this person's like running their body into the ground. I'm gonna link that video in regards to this that man um spreading HIV. Man, see how things be coming back full circle, child. Mm, mm, mm. It, I keep hearing there's a lot of complaints. Somebody got fired because they were having sex with the tenants at the job. And people were complaining. I'm telling you, this 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 handyman is a thief that was taking things from this home. They were taking sex. They was taking dick. They was giving dick. And now they in the, the nine of swords here. Because they have lost this job. And I feel like this job was bringing in a lot of money. I, I ain't going to hold you. Yeah. This person manifested a lot of, uh, they manifested this job. And the job was paying actually really well or decent. It was good. It was good money here. Because I'm hearing odds and ends. So, like, this person didn't really have to do a lot to receive the money here. Um, they may have, I keep hearing that they may have been looking at the money small. But Spirit saying the money was good or it was going to get greater, but the person fucked it up. So we have the devil here. They were released because they, you know, judgment was placed on them. I'm telling you, look, shaft. Lord, child, look at all them shafts. And because of this, this person is losing a family. Justice here. Because somebody's speaking up, child. Queen of Swords, somebody's speaking up. There is a handyman. Be careful. I made a post about that a while back on Facebook about a handyman um, going into people's homes here um, and taking things and also having sex as well, too. But what's what's al I, what's alarming or what's what's scary to me is that this person wasn't using a condom here. This person was spreading. Like I told you, they, they feel something. They, they have, it's like something about the shaft. It has to glisten or they're mesmerized by their shaft or they think that their shaft it was given by God. It's a, child, I don't know, but they're just overly like enamored with the shaft that they have here. Like that's, that's, they, that's like their best friend. And there's something about... It, something has to be on there for them to feel good about themselves and want it to stay on there. I don't, I don't, that's gross. I'm sorry. That's just, that's, I'm sorry. That, that's, that's too much. That is too much. They don't shower or anything. Like, so then you have a sex of multiple partners. You not taking showers. You not protecting yourself. You spread, you a Petri dish. You spreading, you spreading stuff. You spreading stuff. That ain't fucking cool. That ain't cool. And then go home to a family at the end. That ain't cool. Changes is coming. I'm telling you, this is a thief. This person going to people's apartments or homes or whatever. Yeah, it's going to be a divorce. It's going to be a divorce. And this person is going to be in poverty because of it. It's, it that's too much. That's just way too much. Ooh, child. It's too much. So you coming back home to your wife or your girlfriend, but it's wife because marriage is in reverse. 
I'm also hearing the wife was was cheating on the husband as well. Okay, whatever. Y'all get a little too outlandish here, child. But like I said, hey, y'all need Jerry Springer. Y'all need me. Shameless plug. I'm gonna always put, I'm always gonna plug my stuff in. The air frozen. Shoot. Ain't no shame in my game. Okay. But no, seriously, with this marriage here, this marriage is just like really like crazy. The, the white cheat, they it, it's just too much. But be careful of this handyman. Uh, well, uh, could be fired by now. But if they're not fired, and maybe you may have to have maintenance come to your home, just make sure you have like a camera, especially in like your bedroom or whatever. Because this person really goes through people's stuff. But then they will seduce them in a way. Lord. Okay, so I'm also hearing they, they work with spells as well too. There's a masculine, a handyman that is a thief, and they work with spells. So what they'll do is... Let's say they'll receive some kind of um, like a work order. They'll receive the work order and they'll go to the to the residence or the tenant's place there. They'll scope out the place. If the place looks like it has valuables, jewels, whatever the case may be, then they'll go back and they'll do the spell work, right? So they will try to entice this the, the person or the tenant tenant of the home. What they'll do is because I feel like this is a side job as well too. Come on, spirit, you talk. I don't need these cards. I also feel like this is more of a side job, but the side job was making pretty good money or decent money here. But over time, it would have become very lucrative. But I feel like this person fucked it up because all they think about is their their their, their shaft. So they do spell work here. Um, once they case the place, if the place looks viable, meaning they have things that is very you know of high volume to them, they're going to then go ahead and try to establish a rapport with the tenants of that place. They also have some kind of a construction because I'm seeing here's my car. So someone is giving someone a car. Hey, give me a call. Give me a call. And this is how they set up these victims or bodies. So then they will proceed to do these love spells or these sex spells over these individuals here to entice them or to have them enthralled or in love with them. But it's, it's a love. Uh, it's a lust. It's not a love. It's a lust, lust spell. It's their way of trying to um, um, whet their appetite or to... Um, to, to, to take care of themselves, to take care of their, their appetite. Because they have, like, a, like I said, a voracious appetite for sex and they need it all the time. So this person's person, uh, masculine is constantly doing spell work over women and men as well too. Doesn't matter. They will have sex with you. If you have something, a valuable, high value, they will have sex with you. They don't care. They don't care you man or woman. They don't, they don't care. They will. Um, but like I said, I see a card being given to like the tenant here and that's just their way of like getting in the door i like okay cool and then they will actually reach out to you after they did the spell work hey you need anything and da, da, da. oh yeah by the way i do or you know maybe you should come over and this is how they get into people's mind that's why i be telling y'all yes people do spell work men do spell work too that ain't just not a man but just for this explanation wise okay but this man do spell work over women and men to kind of triangulate them into like give giving them stuff and it didn't happen or something backfired to where they did work on somebody and it just didn't work in a way that they they marriage did they work together tradition hierophant so the masculine is 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 held in high honor here but they're in a marriage here that's failing and the reason why it's failing is because there's no money that's coming in it's like this woman is aware that this man do this but allow this man to do this because they bring in the money here but the back end of that is that the woman is doing spell work on the man but the man is doing spell work on this is too much wow who we got time for this Sacrifice. So the masculine thinking that there is a loving connection or whatever at home, it's not. The woman is aware or the wife is aware that the, 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 the husband is doing this. And it's like they could be holding it over their head. 
I'm getting many different perspectives here. So y'all gonna have to take a hard resonate. One perspective I'm getting is that the wife don't know. Or yeah, the wife don't know. Another perspective I'm getting is that she does know and encourages it because of the money. But money is the main culprit here. But this master do, do spell work here on these tenants here to get in. And has been having lots of sex with different people in this, this building, this apartment, complex, or whatever the case may be. And something happened where this person may have became abusive or reckless. Maybe the tenant didn't want to give up sex anymore or didn't want to give up money because they were actually getting money. They were getting, oh, that's what it was. Thank you. Oh, so they... They have a main business where they do contracting or whatever. They build homes and stuff like that. But on the side, they do this as well, too. They will receive more money or they will receive money on the, the, the back end of it or behind the scenes. Unbeknownst to the third party that hired them to come in and do the work because they have a main business here. But they're not they're not following through with their with the with the, the like the orders. Does that make sense? So let me give an example. So yes, they see somebody, they scope somebody out. Okay, cool, they got a tenant. This person's like, they got money. Okay, boom, they're gonna do the spell word, whatever the case may be. They're going to establish a rapport with the three of wands here. Okay, they establish a rapport with the tenant and um, the tenant's gonna feel very comfortable to a point where they can kind of let their hair down. That's what they're trying to do. So when the tenant feels very comfortable with the handyman or whatever, um, now the tenant would be like, well, you know what? I do have somebody that need this done, da -da -da -da, whatever the case may be. Boom. That's where the nine of pentacles and the, the bad news come in with the page of cups here because the tenants are giving them, not only are they giving them money, they're giving them sex too, right? So it's, it's just a very, very unpleasant mixture of business and pleasure. And um, the tenants are complaining because the, per, the, the handyman is not keeping the end of the bargain. They're just taking the money. But they're only taking money from select 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 of people that makes sense um and then they use that makes sense they use their dick as like a wand like i'm gonna dick you down i'm gonna sex you down so you can continue to give me money this is this a jig is this a jig or not what is this what is this child this handyman a motherfucking hoe like a like this is prostitute y'all don't think this is prostitute this this teeter tot on the line of prostitute. I'm sorry, y'all. Mm. Don't play me for a fool. I keep hearing it. Don't play me for a fool. So somebody could be trying to play you for a fool. Maybe think that you won't find out. You could be connected to this person some way, somehow. Mm -mm, child. Endurance. They got the oh they the one that had the erectile dysfunction that's the um what some of y'all somebody connected to this handyman here because this the one that can't even beat they dick they trying to beat you but they can't even beat they dead dick so oh, so somebody know a handyman who is this handyman child this handyman is sick they're sexually sick they contracted a, a uncurable std incurable std here and the people that they were having, my God, the people that they were having sex with at the, the apartment complex flexes, they, oh my God, uh, uh, what? They contracted it as well too. So not only did they lose money, they lose their, wow, their clean bill of health because it was never love. Of course it was never love. Wow, that is crazy. Yo, that is crazy. Healing is in reverse. That is crazy. Yo, be careful of people that's coming into your apartment. If you can be there while they're there, that'd be better. That'd be great. If you can't, just make sure you have some kind of camera or maybe some kind of setup or apparatus or something, you know, make set up something, you know, so that way if you'll know only you would know, like put a clothes pin on top of the door handle or something, you know. And if it fall, then you know that person was in your room, you know, something like that. Yeah, because this is too much here. Child, mm -mm. This, 
give me petri dish energy. What? Yeah. Yeah. Let's give me. Ugh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Third house child is Sag. Mm, learning about more. Sag is ninth house, but is in the third house. Third house is communication here. Somebody is going to get knowledge or receive knowledge of what this handyman is doing here. This is crazy. And Mercury. Mm -mm. Child. Taurus and Saturn. In the first house, what's Taurus? Taurus rules second house, but it's more so like how you make your money and stuff like that, like your resources, your you know your finances. We have Saturn in first house and Capricorn. Okay, so we have Gemini, Taurus, Gemini. This is some crazy stuff. Scorpio, Libra, I heard two more. Aquarius and Scorpio. Oh, Scorpio. All right. So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time, flowers, flowers, flowers. <laughs>